All right, so we'll go over how to do Kuva Siphon missions. But since the main reason you're probably trying to learn Kuva Siphon missions is to earn a resource called Kuva, which in turn is used to roll said Riven mod into maybe hopefully a better Riven mod that you want. You see down there, cycle for 900, then it also goes up to what? 3,500, I think, is what it maxes out at to roll your Rivens. We'll also be showing you all the other places you can pick up some Kuva too. So if you don't want to do a Kuva Siphon mission, maybe you can do one of these other things to get some extra Kuva. All right, first things first, let's do a Kuva Siphon mission. So we're going to open up our navigation, then we're going to go up here to the Alerts tab. We're going to scroll down here and you can see there's a bunch of different Kuva Siphon missions available right here. You've got one, a survival right here, and a spy, and a rescue. Let's go ahead and do the survival. Trigger the alarm. So since, like we said, it was a survival mission, we're going to go ahead and activate the little terminal. Got a nice auto breach. That's that's really handy. It even works on armor stuff sometimes, too. But we're going to go about completing our mission like normal, but also we're going to be exploring the map and we're going to be looking for a little something. So what we're looking for is this little icon to pop up as you're exploring the map. This is the little Kuva Siphon that's going to be popping up. So let's go over to it. There it is. Now you're going to be looking out for each one of these braids right here. Now these guys right here are a pain in the butt. If you want to kill them, go in your operator form, void sling into them, and then now they're vulnerable. Now if you don't have your operator yet, I'll throw up there in the top. There's a link on how to actually get your operator. It's a little short video showing you everything you need to know about that. But what you're looking for are little black and red clouds, or just straight black is what they look like to me. Well, see, its braid is sticking up there. That's the direction this cloud is going to be coming from. Go to your operator form, and you can shoot it, or you can void sling into it, and it'll destroy that cloud. And it also destroys one of the braids on the machine. So now you're just going to keep an eye on it. Make sure you're killing enemies around you too so you're not taking as much damage. There it goes, it popped up. Now we got a cloud coming from there. I'm going to shoot it with my operator. Boom, we destroyed another cord. Or braid. And remember, if you got these guys who are pretty annoying, just void sling through them, and then shoot them. Looks like we got another Bray popping up. Should be coming over this way somewhere. There it is. See it coming down the little rafter thing right there? Shot it with the operator. We destroyed that one. We only got one braid left. Again, we have another one of these Queen's Guard guys. Void sling through him. Take him down. That braid's coming, or pointing that direction, so there it is. We took care of it. Oh, I actually missed it. Thought I got it. This guy stole my weapon. Alright, we should have another chance. It should pop back up. There it is. It's trying to suck in another cloud. Right there. Once you destroy the last cloud, it will destroy the machine. And you see down there in the bottom left, I got 616 Koopa. Now once that machine's done, now you can finish extracting. There we go, we extracted. You see I got 616 Kuva. If you complete these missions, you have the chance of getting anywhere between five and seven or eight hundred-ish Kuva for completing each one of these Kuva Siphon missions. But if Kuva is your main goal, let me show you a couple different places you can actually pick up more Kuva. The first spot I'll show you is really easy to get to. Open up your menu. We're going down to Nightwave Rewards. See there, I got some credits. Let's uh, get off that. 
Go down here to credit offerings, or we'll scroll down a little bit. You can get 10,000 Kuva for 50 credits. So if you really need a big chunk of Kuva really quick, you can come in here and grab that. Another place that you can possibly get some Kuva from is if you come here to Earth and talk to Kanzu for bounties. Let's go down here to the 40 to 60 bounty. You can see that there's a possible chance for you to actually get 300 Kuva for completing this bounty. And then if you have Steel Path unlocked, you can run this last mission right here, which will give you a chance for another 300 Kuva. Now there is actually another place on Earth that you can potentially pick up some more Kuva. For this one, you will need the Chains of Harrow quest completed, and we will be using our Riven Sliver, so more than likely you might have picked up a couple of these. Now after you've completed the Chains of Harrow quest, and maybe you got a little stack of Riven Slivers you want to spend, you can go back to Earth, we'll go to Iron Wake. Some of you might already be familiar with this place, but just for the newbies that are popping in here, we're going to go all the way back here. Just go straight to the back, turn right here, and then you're going to turn left up this little ramp here, go through both of these doors. Then you've got your red veal lady right here. We're going to talk to her, and you can actually buy 35,000 Kuva for 10 Riven Slivers. So if you click on that, we're going to go ahead and buy that. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up these Riven Mods while I'm here. Go ahead and grab these bad boys. Yeah, add to the collection that I'm not going to do. Anyways, yeah, talk to the Red Veal Lady, get yourself some Kuva. And just to mention a couple of other places you can pick up some more Kuva on Fortuna, if you talk to Utico, coming down here to this fifth bounty that she has right here. She has a reward that you could possibly get 500 Kuva from this bounty. And like I said earlier, if you do have Steel Path unlocked, you can click on this one. You can see that you have a chance of getting Kuva for this one as well. And of course, the same thing goes for the Entrati. Go talk to Mother. Check her bounties out. You got a chance for 750 Kuva there. And for the Steel Path one, you have a chance for another 750 Kuva there. Now these next places where I'm going to show you you can actually pick up Kuva, you will have to have Steel Path unlocked. Now if you don't already know, you want to complete every node on every planet inside your star chart here. If you go to Earth and if you see any missions that are flashing blue, that means they're not done. You've got to do them. This also includes, if you go over here to the Zeraman, you want to make sure you get all these nodes right here done. And now, since we've got Whispers of the Wall that's been released as the last update, they added, what, five more missions? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five that you will also have to do if you still have an Unlocked Steel Path. But remember, go through, complete every single mission on every single planet, including Zeraman and Deimos. So make sure these are all done. And then once all the missions are done, you want to go to any relay. I always like going back to Earth. Let's go to Strata Relay, and you can talk to Teshin, and then you will have Steel Path Unlocked. Remember, this is only if you have Steel Path Unlocked. What we're going to do is we're going to fast travel, and we're going to go talk to Teshin. Once you get up here, let's go ahead and talk to Teshin. Let's go to Steel Path Honors. And then if we scroll down, you can see that you can get 10,000 Kuva for 15 Steel Essence. All right, now you've seen Teshin's inventory. Let's go ahead and talk about the Duviri. So if you've got the Steel Path Unlocked for the circuit, which I've already chose my weapons. This is all normal for some reason. Let's go to Steel Path. But instead of picking an Incarnate Adapter for a weapon, you can actually scroll to the right and you can see that you can pick up a couple different Riven mods or at the very end, you can choose one of your options. Instead of getting an Incarnate Adapter, you can actually get Kuva if you really wanted to. That's if you don't want any of the Incarnate Adapters that are currently available. And another thing on top of Steel Path, once you have that unlocked, you can actually do arbitration. So if you go up your navigation to your alerts, this very first mission right here will be arbitration. Now, while you're running these missions, you can actually pick up Vitus Essence. So there'll be these little black drones in the mission that have a chance to drop Vitus Essence. Well, after you get yourself a stack of Vitus Essence, let's go over here to the syndicates, because this is the fastest way you can visit the Arbiters of Hexus by just clicking on them and click visit. Okay. Let's go check out and see what we can get with this Vitus Essence. All right, once we finally land in here, we're going to go back here up the stairs and talk to this guy on our right. Have you right here, you can see everything cost Vitus Essence. So I've got 174 up there. If you scroll down here, you got some mods that cost 20. But if you scroll all the way down here, you can see that you can get 10,000 Kuva for 25 Vitus Essence. And also, you can get all of Grindo's locator pieces down here. So if you're looking to pick up regular Grindel, you can actually farm the Grindel Warframe. He's got an Art Gun Riven mod. He's got a couple extra mods up here. Preparation, Rolling Guard. If you scroll down here, he's got Galvanize mods, which are basically the best mods in the game. All right, guys, that's how you do a Kuva Siphon mission and a couple extra places to pick up some Kuva. If I missed any spots about where you can actually pick up more Kuva, throw them down there in the comments so we can help everybody out. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye-bye.